Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's having a great day. Well, we have an unbagging. Let's get to it and see who this is from. Let me pull it out. Got a few things in here. And there is this one. All right. Hang on. Be right back. Okay. I thought I was right, but just wanted to make sure. So let's get started. This is from the FGOBY store. And I have a few, I have a couple diamond painting things and some beaded and we have cross stitch so we'll just start with this one little thing so I saw somebody else had one of these and I thought this would be nice it's my initial and you beat it on both sides and it is an L that cute and it's so teeny tiny itty bitty they give you like five beads for everything. Get it all out. Well, it got stuck. This is the little chain, and the chain's going to go here, and then you have a nice big clip. Maybe. Oh, does it go this way? Yeah. Okay. Just a clip that you can clip it onto your zipper on your purse or something. So I'm going to put that all back in there. And I'm just going to set this in here so everything doesn't stick to it. It's kind of sticky. Just for a second. It comes with boat, wax, and some extra baggies. And your colors. Let's see which direction to open it from. They have all kinds of diamond painting crafts there. I'm pulling it right. Just beautiful stuff. Oh, we have the extras in the middle. We'll get to them in a second. So it has four colors this way. So you have some gold and some like three dimensional, like diamond. Can you see those? They're raised. It's like Oh, I guess it's going to be gold on the outside for those two. They're made the same way because the flat part is the black part. And the top part is silver. Okay. And then you have red beads and you have some aqua marine medium. We have some blue marquees. Aren't those beautiful? Just beautiful. I'm going to scooch it over just a little so we can see what's going on. Whoops, and then I have to hit the table, of course. Ooh, and then you have some star ones. They look like snowflakes, only they're iridescent. We have some red ones. And some little gold, looks like buttons. And then you have two that are like a dark sapphire they're flat on the back, of course. And then we have some reddish orange, and it goes to yellow, green, blue. But it's mostly orange and pink. Marquise. So those are really beautiful. Not too many, because it's not a very big thing. Let me show you the, the thing again. So it just takes a few of each. This would take you about half an hour, 45 minutes to do, depending on how fast you did it. But I like that it's both both sided. So that's cool. And awesome. So, be a project for a nice snowy day. We'll just get all that back in there. And that one, in case I have to have something to put the beads in. So that's kind of a cool little quickie project. Then I got a diamond painting pen. Let's see here. 
because the one that I bought, I don't know where it's at right now. I'm not seeing it. The one that didn't have a place to put the placer on. Yeah, the tip broke off of it. It was special. So in this, we have this beautiful blue pen and a place for you to put your, you can exchange ends. Very nice. Needs to be filed just a bit. But it's nice and it grips in your hand. I do have extra squishies. I don't know that they'll fit on this. Mm, maybe. No, not so much. I thought maybe that would go down, but it won't. But it is indented, so it's easy to hang on to. But I just thought it was a pretty color. It needs to be wiped down a little bit. But it did come with... I'm assuming that's a four or five placer there. You have a three placer there. Does it say on it? No, not on that. You do have a straightener. And you have mm, probably a eight or ten placer there, which will come in handy. So yeah, I just needed a a new pin. Then let's see what we got here. We have some more beaded cross stitch. Just got a little bit of everything this time. Isn't that pretty? It's a little butterfly. I need a drink. It's one of those days. Let's see if we can get it opened. I always want to open this end, but that's like the wrong way to go. This way at least you can close it back up if you want it to. I've opened the others that way too. And it's like, hmm, that didn't work so hot. So let's see what's in here. You got poof ball to fill it up with. Oh, this isn't very big at all. Comes with instructions, and there's your little key. There's all the other ones. I think I ordered that one. I'm not real sure. I haven't seen this any place. Maybe I'm just not seeing it. Let's see what is in here. Oh, I was looking for how to open it, and it was already open. So inside, you have your canvas, and the canvas is plastic. So that wouldn't take too long to do. Let me just lay that right there. Comes with green beads, red beads, like a royal, not royal blue, cerulean blue, dark, it's like a blue purple. And you have yellow. And they're itty bitty, itty bitty, bitty bitties, itty bitties. Comes with a thread. You have one strand of, or more of thread for each color of bead. Not going to take that undone. And then you have this little duty bag. It has, what is it? Come on. These are packaged really well. Oh, I'm going to say four or five needles in there. You have the ring it's going to go on and the ring that's going to fit, you know, to hold it. And it can go on your keychain or whatever. I don't know that they show that one way or the other. Uh, no. They show a piece of plastic, but I'm not seeing any plastic. Does that not look like a, a plastic swivel thing right there that that would go into? There's no plastic swivel thing. It's all metal. I don't know. You could figure it out. You could thread that through your material. But there's nothing else that that goes with. But yeah, they're just cute little tiny projects. You know, it might take me a week to do this because I'm not real fast at beaded cross stitch at all. Let's put all that back in there so it doesn't get lost. 
but I just love these little bitty tiny kits. They're just too cute. See, it just says, oh, sealing tape. If you remove that, then it'll hold it shut, but we don't need it to hold it shut. We'll just put it all back together here. Nice, clear instructions. But I already know how to do bead across stitch. I'll have to do that someday. Let's see if I can get it together. Okay, maybe not. I don't think I can get it back in there. We're going to try, though. We're going to give it the old college try here. And shove it in. Likes to stick on the plastic. There we go. Hang on. I don't want any of that to get lost. Okay. Later. And we have two cross stitches. Yep. Two cross stitches. We'll look at the first one. Let me get it out of the bag. It's a 36 by 46. Or so it says. And there is the beautiful picture. Look at those irises. There's a bumblebee there and a ladybug there. And maybe drops of water or something. Yeah, because there's water on the rest of it here and there. But isn't that a beautiful picture? Mm. Just gorgeous. This is an 11 count. Comes with an instruction sheet. And a key. This is nice and big. It has 29 colors. Oh, hello. Avalanche. My goodness. I'm just making a, a lots of noise today. Holy cow. It has a little picture up here. It has the color of the threads, D DMC number, the symbol, and whatever number is on your, your thread card. But this is nice and big and easy to read. It's on shiny paper this way, but this side is not shiny. Sturdy. That helps. And this key will match the one on the canvas. Let's take a look at all those beautiful colors. There are two beads. Um, two beads. i got beads on the brain. <coughs> Excuse me. Two needles over there. So that's pretty. Let me see if I can get this open so that I can lay the colors out. They're nice and long and very soft. Look at those purples. I love irises in person. They are just absolutely gorgeous. We had them all the time in Kansas. And look at the blues. Oh, you have, just wait. Turn this around. We have fuchsias as well. Light, medium, and dark fuchsia. Lots of greens and tans. Let me see if I can do the twisty thing. Just beautiful colors. Aren't they gorgeous? Mm, love that pink. And those violet. Mm. This will be beautiful. Okay, let me wind it up carefully. So everybody doesn't get all messed up. Hang on. Get that out of the way. Then we'll take a look at the canvas. Be right back. i got to figure out which way's up. Okay, it does say down here at the bottom, this is the product number. This is how big it is, 36 by 46. Now before I go any further, hang on. Let's see, the butterfly, the beaded butterfly was $4.99, which isn't bad. And I don't know what that word is. Oh, irises. I can't even read my own writing. How's that? It was this one kit right here was $8.99. The pen, the diamond painting pen, was $3.99. It comes with three extra things plus the three extra placers and a straightener. 
and the letter L was $1.99. So they're not too terribly expensive. I think it'd make a nice little stock, stocking stuffer. I know it's a little late to order, but it would if I knew had anybody else with the name of L, or beginning with the letter L. But isn't that a beautiful canvas? Just gorgeous, nice. There's a picture I'll show you. I don't think you can tell what it is. Maybe you can see better than I can. Nice big key. Very easy to read. It does not have the colors of the threads here. This is a nice, fairly thin, it's kind of stiff, canvas. And like I said, oh, there's no surging all the way around at all. But there are two needles right here, so it didn't come with a, a stitching kit. Let's take a look at how big it is. Let's see. It is 36 across by 45 and a half. So almost 46. The actual picture, if I can keep hold of it, is 29 and a half, which is 11 and three quarters almost, by uh, 15 and three quarters, which is 40. So 40 by 40 by 29 and a half. So 30 by 40 almost. But it's nice and big. Doesn't have a lot of um, excess material at the top or on this side. They're about even there. There's maybe two inches on your right side and the bottom. But it is just gorgeous. It doesn't look real confetti. It looks like rivers of color, which is nice. So you don't have to fight the confetti. Just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I think we'll start this one. Yeah. I don't know. Spring, maybe? Because isn't that when the irises come out? I don't know when, but we always had them. You know, and they last only so long, you know. So. But nice, easy to read key. I wanted to get it folded so I could bring, or not key, printing on the canvas. And it's 11 counts, so it's very easy to read. Very easy. Just beautiful. So I don't know. It probably won't take more than 10 minutes for me to start this one. Love it. Just beautiful. Okay, let me put that up there. We're getting quite the pile going on. And let's take a look at the next one. So I'm really happy about that one. And this one is a field of flowers. Did I tell you... Where did my page go? That didn't have a page, did it? This one is a DIY cross stitch. Look at that pretty, pretty field of flowers. you got daisies and little whatevers and, and more little whatevers and little yellow buttercups. I don't know. My grandmother, she'd know all them flowers, but can't begin to tell you what they are myself. I do know a daisy when I see it. Okay. Hang on. There'll be a pause because I can't find the... There we go. Well, that just ripped everything. That was bizarre. Terrible plastic bags. There you go. Now you can see it. But isn't that pretty? I love that blue with all those other colors. Mm. Maybe some dandelions? I'm not real sure what those little spiky things are. And then the rest of it's kind of fantasy, but... I just thought it was pretty. And it does scream spring. Unlike its counterpart over there that, you know, would really make me want to use, do it. Come, It's a 40 by 40. It's a 11 count. And it has a very small graft. It has 20 colors. This will match the canvas. 
just beautiful. But that needs to be bigger. You know, you've heard me complain about this before. There are, if I can get it there, two needles there. Let's take a look at all them pretty, pretty colors. It does have the product number here on the, the card. But look at all those blues and pinks and greens. They kind of go from teal to aquas to, to like a medium blue. Then you have some really bright green, like what is that called? Oh my goodness, not fuchsia. Chartreuse. Chartreuse green. Mm. And there's some really dark purple there. Evidently, you don't use that too much. There's only one strand of it. Beautiful, beautiful colors. It's the colors that gets to me, guys. Always first. But aren't they just beautiful? Mm. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Another gorgeous one to stitch. And you wonder why I can't ever get anything done. Because I'm always getting new things in and got a stitch. Oh, yay, it was right side up to start out with, except it's trying to get it to flatten out a little bit. So to lay flat. Oh, holy cow. That looks like a little bit of a nightmare, doesn't it? I mean, it's got its points, but there's other times it just looks very confetti first glance and now I can see the flowers sticking out here I don't see anything else because it's one giant mass of color it has the product number how big it is and it's 129 by 129 boy that other one looked way bigger and this one's not that big and it was a 36 by 46 hmm Let's take a look and see how wide the canvas is. It is 40 by 40. Yep, well, a tad bit over, but you got that line there. So at that line, it's 40 by 40. And this should be at least 30 by 30. It is 29 and a half. By 30. Yeah, a little over 29 and a half. So, like 11 by 11, 11 and a half, or 11 and three quarters. So sorry. 11 and three quarters by 11 and three quarters. So it's not too big. It's just got a lot going on. And could they use the, the color red anytime? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight symbols are in red come on really you could use different shades of green or two or three of each other i don't understand who makes these up but gosh it's just mm. it's not real hard to read because you know it is an 11 count i'll hold it really still you know once you get it where you need it to be to stitch you can actually see the uh the symbols. But it's nice and bright and vivid. I'll give it that much. But it's going to be a bear. Yep, 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 yep. Mm -hmm. It's like they've got one, two, six and maybe seven symbols that have like a dark color, like a dark black. This is actually purple, but still, they got stuck on purple and red for this one. Not real pleased, but hey. But it's nice and clear, and it's well printed on there. Some of them, it's like they were running out of ink when they printed it, and they just let it fly, you know. This is nice and dark, and so is the other one. I mean, it's very easy to read. So, we will see. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 
and it's not uh, surged all the way around. It's kind of that lighter weight canvas, just like the other one. I mean, it's not real. It's stiff, but it's not hard stiff. Some of them have been really bad. So, not bad at all. I would stitch it. It's just going to take a hot moment. But I thought it was just pretty with all those beautiful colors. Just shining. Wouldn't you like to walk up onto that, you know, where you see all the flowers all over this field? We were taking pictures, my boyfriend and I, gosh, 10 years ago. I, I have no idea. At the time, boyfriend. Um, and we were just driving up and down country roads, and we came over the top of this hill. And the whole field was nothing but sunflowers. And it was just, as far as you could see, they were just up and down. It was just like a wave of sunflowers. It was just absolutely gorgeous. Just gorgeous. So I know it can happen, but not, not that many colors I where we lived. Do you get that many different ones? It's either sunflowers or daisies or, you know, one or the other. And a few sprinkled in here and there, but so that's pretty much a fantasy. But I thought it was beautiful with those little pink flowers. They're so pretty. All right, I will be back in just a minute, and we'll start something. And if I could stop moving the camera, I'm so sorry. Hang on. All right, I am back, and of course I had to start the irises because they are just too too beautiful and we're starting right here on the leaf of this one it's sitting like this right now but aren't those just absolutely stunning mm. beautiful picture I need about a hundred little two by three frames or three by three frames and the color that I'm using is $7.99 which is that medium looking blue. I'm using three strands. And I kind of crinkled the fabric so that I could get it to move along here a little bit. And while we're, we're stitching here, let me tell you about FGOBY store. They have free shipping on orders from that are over $39.99. And they're having 7% off all diamond paintings right now. And buy three, get one free on all the cross stitch. They do have a separate Joy Sunday uh, section. And they have lots of Christmas stuff. You know, basically a well-rounded, you know, cross-stitch diamond painting type selection. So you shouldn't have a, a hard time trying to find anything, you know, that suited you. They have cross stitch and diamond painting tools, and they also have paint by number there. So they have uh, paint by number tools as well. Sometimes they have stretcher bars and frames and brushes. And what else do they have? Oh, Isaac. They have printed, excuse me, stamped cross stitch and they also have counted cross stitch which is nice and I told you about the separate joy Sunday section and they have cross stitch crafts and lots and lots of diamond painting crafts so if you don't want to do a whole diamond painting you know you can just do a little craft like my Christmas cards or like the, um, what do you call them? Christmas ornaments and stuff. So, very nice. Very nice.
this thread is nice. Stitch is quite nice and easy. I think once you've worked with the material here for, you know, a, a fair section, I think it'll calm down. It's not ultra stiff. For peace sake, if I could find the hole, we would have it made, huh? Oh my goodness. And I don't know. I'm trying to look. They don't have any big beaded cross stitch. They have um, just the little keychain size stuff, which is nice. And they also have, they break down like your cross stitch. From, like, we'll call it novice to grandmaster of uh, levels. So you don't get a grandmaster level and you're just, just starting, you know. Something that might have two or three different kinds of stitches in it or something. Like half stitch and whole stitch and back stitch and... What do you call them? French knots and, you know, just a variety of things if you're not ready for it. So you can look under the ones that are easier to do or, you know, any level in between. So I thought that was kind of neat. I haven't seen that very often in these stores that I've been reviewing. So I like that feature. So you just know almost what you're getting yourself into if you want just cross stitch, you know. And they have all different sizes and shapes of everything, which is very good. Because not everybody likes to do full coverage diamond painting or full coverage cross stitch. You know, you can get something that's just partials on both of them to see if you like it or if you like that style the best. But uh, I like it when I have choices. I think I'm going to have to end this thread. But you see what I mean? It's just like in rivers. So it's very easy to see. I think this would be gorgeous when it's done. Just in love with it. But I'm in love with half of the ones that I get, so, you know, I'm hopeless. Whoa. Come back, air Needle. Seriously. Go over here. I have better luck when I start stitching from the side. Now on that purple lady in purple, I was up on the top and up down on the bottom and in between and on the sides. I yeah, I tried on that one to uh go from one color, you know, pick one color, go to the next color. All that. It never works out for me. Not at all. So I like to finish a, a section if I can. It's so much easier on me. And then I can go on to something else. Now I've seen people stitch from the top just straight down just like that. They'll, they'll go down and they'll meet another color and it, it, I can't do that. No. That doesn't work for me. I have to work with the thread I'm working with. And I only go one thread of each color. But I go until it's finished. And I've completed it in that area. And just go on to the next color. Well, that's sad. There's only five more to do right there. But I don't have that kind of thread. 
I do hate when that happens. I've tried to use the long threads and I just cannot do that either. Because about halfway through, it all gets into a knot. So I take each strand of six and cut it in half. And then I separate them into threes and make four little piles. They seem to lay down faster. They just get better, not faster, better for me. They don't get nearly as twisted up, but I have had knots like you would not believe. But that doesn't work for me. It might work for, you know, others. I just can't get my stitches to lay down flat. It's sad. I don't know if you can uh, see where I've stitched already. I'll try to hold it. Whoops. I hold it still as I smack it and it moves. Some days, I'm telling you, you just walk away. But this thread is stitching very nicely. Yeah, I'm. The quality of these cheaper kits, it just, it, it floors me. You know, as far as the canvas and the. The threads, it's just beautiful. What else was I got? Oh, I was going to tell you how much one of these other ones was. Let's see. The, the lilies with the field, which was 40 by 40, was $9.99. So that's the highest price one that I got in this stuff. And this was $8.99. So for $8, I think it's great that you get the threads and, and the canvas and you don't have to count it. Oh, beautiful. I had to see where I needed to go next. And some people, they work just, you know, in that square, finish everything in that square. Finish that square. You know, I can't do that. I just, no, it goes against my grain. So, that doesn't work for me, but it doesn't mean it won't work for you. So, you do it however you want to do it and start wherever you want to start. That's the beauty of these things. They're yours. Do it how you want to and what makes you happy. And, you know, what flows the best. Because I know I've fought some that just, it's like, oh, you feel like you've been fighting a, a war and you got maybe a square, like, three by three done. And it seems like you should be at least done with the whole project. So... And it's very hard to tell, at least for me, how it's going to be or how confetti it'll be when I'm looking at a picture. I just, I, I can't figure it out. But this one is stitching very nice. I've been pretty happy with these cheaper kits. I don't have to buy Joy Sunday every time. Uh, you know, I can buy a more inexpensive kit if I'd like. I'm trying to get to the right square there. I don't think that goes there. I think it's more there. Well, we have slanted. We have a V, a slanted blue. We have a half uh, square, and you have a dot, and you have a circle. Those are easy to see, but and right now the the light is shining 
right at it, so I really can't decide. So I'll go where I can see it. Maybe that was a bad color to start with. I have no idea. I just picked a color. But I do like that blue. That's $7.99. It's gorgeous. I've had that in diamond paintings, actually. Can't remember which one it was. I want to say it was Dream by uh, Diamond Art Club, but it's a pretty blue. It's like a dusky blue. Come on. All right, guys. I think that's going to be it for right now. But as you can see, it's stitching up quite nicely. And after I finish this strand, I got mm, two more strings. Then I will go on to that next orange color. And it just kind of goes in ribbons. Ribbons and rivers. And it makes it so much easier to do than, say, confetti. So I would would recommend this kit to anybody on any skill level especially somebody that was just starting you can just follow it real nice and easy and and do one symbol if you'd like well thank you FGOBY store I appreciate all the beautiful products that you sent to me I love them all if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell, and that way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow. God bless. Bye-bye. Keep stitching.